In this video, I'm going to show you an essential skill that you need to know if you want to become a real world blockchain developer. Whether you want to land a high paying job, become a freelancer or build your own project, you need to understand how to do this. And I'm going to show you today as a professional blockchain developer who works the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, uh, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So what is this essential skill? It's to take a real project off of your computer and put it on a live blockchain so that other people can use it. This is perfect if you want to get a job or become a freelancer and share your portfolio, or if you want to build your own project, or even if you just want to share your work with your friends so that they can use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your own crypto collectible token so that you can, you know, save it on your mobile phone, send it to your friends, sell it on a marketplace, you know, whatever. And of course, you can take this knowledge and use it to deploy any blockchain project that you want to, like your own cryptocurrency, a DeFi app, you know, your own dApps, smart contracts, whatever. And once you follow this tutorial, you'll have all the essential skills that you need to do this. Now let's install the dependencies we need for this tutorial. The first dependency is Node.js. This is going to allow us to install all the packages on our computer as well as run our client side application. So you can see if you have node already installed by going to your terminal and typing node-v. So I'm using node 9.10.0. I would recommend using the exact same version for best uh, results during this tutorial, but you can probably use the latest version if you really want to and you know what you're doing. So uh, you can download node directly from the website or you can use a command line tool like Homebrew, a package manager to, to install it that way. The next dependency is the Truffle framework. This is a framework for creating Ethereum smart contracts. We can write Ethereum smart smart contracts with the Solidity programming language, write tests against them, and deploy them to a blockchain with Truffle, as well as many other things which you'll see in this tutorial. You can install Truffle from your command line like this, say npm install dash dash g truffle at version uh, 5.1.39. The next dependency is the Ganache personal blockchain. This is a blockchain that will run on our computer. We can simply download it and run transactions in the blockchain, deploy smart contracts to it without having to pay any real money. So go ahead and download Ganache. You can just click the version for your operating system here. And whenever it's finished downloading, you can open it and you'll see that you have a brand new blockchain running on your computer just like this. You'll see lots of different accounts funded with 100 fake ether. And don't get too excited because this isn't actually worth anything. The last dependency is the MetaMask extension for Google Chrome. Most modern web browsers won't connect to the blockchain out of the box, and so we need to install a special browser extension to do that. That's exactly what MetaMask does. It's an Ethereum wallet that turns our browser into a blockchain browser. So go to the Google Chrome web store, find MetaMask, and click install. And once you have it installed, you should see a Fox icon in the top right-hand corner and just walk through the setup steps to get that started. Now let's set up the code for this project. So there's a link down below to the final code solution. So go ahead and copy that and then head over to your terminal and type git clone and then paste in the URL. All right, and once that's finished, I'm gonna enter into that newly created directory like this. I'll say CD NFT ERC 721. All right, and now I'm gonna install all the dependencies for the project with NPM like this, say NPM install. So now that that's finished, I'm gonna go ahead and open the project to my text editor. So I'm using Sublime Text. You can use whatever text editor you'd like. Uh, but let's take a quick tour of the code here so that you can see the files that were created whenever we clone this project. So there are a few files that I want to call out. Okay, so the first one is the contract, uh, the actual smart contract. So this is, uh, this contracts token.sol all right so this is the erc721 token that will govern the crypto collectible so let me make a quick mention about that so erc721 is a token standard for creating crypto collectibles and this can be applied to anything uh, that uses a non-fungible token all right so what is a non-fungible token well, it is a token standard that is for crypto tokens that don't govern money. So anything that has a unique ID, so like a baseball card, for example, a collectible, a software license, a domain name, you know, anything that has to be unique and verified on the blockchain, you can use ERC721 for that. All right. So this is just a standard that uh, governs how these tokens should work so that they're compatible with wallets, exchanges, marketplaces, and all that kind of stuff. So this is the complete smart contract code for our uh, special token in this video. 
So this is an ERC721 token. It's a non-fungible token uh, that uses the Open Zeppelin library. So it basically has a pre-made ERC721 token uh, that we've imported here. You can see that in, from the, uh, the package.json file. All right, all of our dependencies are inside of here. But uh, we've used this as a starting point, and then we've added our customizations here. Uh, I've created a mintable token. So basically, whenever we deploy this smart contract live to the network, uh, we'll start with zero tokens, and then we will create tokens on the fly with this special mint function. All right. So um, the next thing you can see is the actual script to do that. So to go to this test file. Oops, sorry, wrong file. Scripts right here, uh, the mint tokens file. So this will... Uh, allow you to uh, actually create new tokens. That's what this will do. So we'll run this momentarily after we deploy our project to the network. And the last file I wanna look at is the truffle-config file. So this is the uh, configuration that connects our truffle project to the live blockchain. So you can see the Ropsten test network here. This is a live blockchain network. It's a test network. So the cryptocurrency is not worth anything for real, but it still allows us to get the project off of our computer and deploy it live so that other people can use it. So I have the uh, configuration here to do that. So um, now that we've seen the important parts of this project, let's go ahead and fill in some details so that we can actually put it live on the blockchain. All right, the next thing we want to do is actually create a secret place to store this information. So we want to get an API key and a private key, all right? Um, so basically, uh, we have this .env example here. So we want to copy this and create a new file just like this, so .env, all right? And uh, this won't exist in your project, uh, but you need to create one. So create a .env file and then add you know, API key and private key. So actually while we're here, we're going to say API URL uh, just to make things more precise. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the uh, this and change as well. I'll, I'll change this in the final code solution. So by the time you get to it, uh, you know, it'll look the same. And then inside of here, I'm going to do that as well. API keys, API URL. All right. So, uh, all right, now that that's finished, we need to actually fill in these two pieces of information. So let's start with the private key. This is gonna be the private key for our MetaMask wallet. So after you install MetaMask, go inside of here and find your address, all right? And then uh, let's see here, go to account details and then click export private key. So I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna record my private key on screen. But when you do, you'll copy that and then you'll put it here inside your project like this. Next, we want to add this API URL here. So what does this do? Well, it connects our project to the blockchain. So whenever you talk to the blockchain, you have to talk to an Ethereum node, all right? And it can be really hard to run your own Ethereum node. So we're gonna use Alchemy. So Alchemy makes Ethereum development really easy, all right? So it has a lot of benefits, like a supercharged API. So you don't have to run your own node if you use Alchemy. And that's exactly why we're going to use it in this tutorial. And in addition to that, it has a lot of other really awesome developer tools that you can see here like the ability to monitor your dApps. You can see the requests coming in. You can debug your transactions. It has a fully fledged explorer, a mempool visualizer, and so much more. So there's a link down below where you can sign up for Alchemy. So just follow those setup steps. And once you do, you'll want to copy your API URL. And so once you've signed in, you can go to apps, click create an app. You can call it NFT or whatever you want to. All right, I'll just click create app. All right, so then I'm going to click view key. All right, I'm going to copy the URL. And I'm going to put it back in my .env file here. All right, so go to .env. And uh, for the API URL, put the entire thing inside of here. And so also make sure you're using the eth-robston version because that's the test network that we're going to use. So once you fill this out, you know, make sure that's in there. And then also make sure your private key from MetaMask is inside of there. And uh, that should be your complete .env file. And so the last thing that you want to do is uh, get some test Ether so that you can deploy the project live to the network. So again, we have to pay a gas fee anytime we put a smart contract on the Ethereum network and you know issue new tokens and stuff like that. So we need uh, tokens in our, sorry, we need cryptocurrency, some Ether in our wallet for doing this. Just go ahead and paste your address in here, click send Robson ETH, and you should have some in just a few seconds. All right, now we have everything to deploy our project live to the network. All right, so we have uh, our API URL from Alchemy. We have our private key from MetaMask. We've funded our wallet. And then we can use this configuration right here to put the uh, smart contract here, this token.sol file. This is our uh, token. 
All right. And uh, we're going to deploy it with this migration file here. All right. So if you look at migrations, deploy contracts, where do you have the token listed here? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put it on the blockchain. So before I do that, one quick uh, reminder is you can customize this token yourself. If you want to change the name, you can call it, you know, uh, you know, great token, <laughs> whatever you want to, right? Uh, you know, GRT. All right. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now, like the original file. Just want to make a mention of that. So before you follow the next steps, you can customize this to, you know, create your own token. All right. So anyways, let's uh, go ahead and run the migration like this. Go to your terminal. I'm going to say truffle migrate dash dash reset, just in case there's already a token in the project. Um, dash dash network, uh, Robston. All right. So this is going to run the migration, put the smart contract on the blockchain and use the Robston test network. All right, whenever that's finished, you can see the uh, transaction hash for the employment here and also the contract address. So we can, uh, you know, just copy the transaction hash or the address, doesn't really matter. Go to robston.etherscan.io. All right, paste the uh, data in here and boom, there we can see the transaction. Okay, so uh, we can click on the contract and there we go. Boom, here's our live token. Okay. All right, now that our token contract is live on the network, uh, we want to actually run this mint function and issue tokens, all right? So from a conceptual level, we have the smart contract on the network. That's exactly what this is here. But no tokens exist yet, all right? Because remember, we start from zero. And only new tokens will exist when we create them with this mint function right here. So I have a special script in the project already. You can go to scripts and look at the mint-tokens file, all right? And... Um, this will uh, allow you to create the tokens. And so what it does is it calls this mint function here. All right, you can see the, uh, you can see this, so tokens, all right, artifacts require token. And then uh, you can see that the token deployed is here. All right, and then we just say contract mint token and we do it for a specific account, which we can uh, do here. We can say more than one account, account one, account two. Say like for account and accounts, we want to, uh, say uh it basically loop loop through every account inside of there and uh call this mint function all right and we'll do it for each account and then we'll pass in the token uri so let me explain what that is so the token uri will actually be a uh like a url basically to the metadata for the token so whenever you put this inside your mobile wallet and people see a picture associated with the collectible this metadata is stored somewhere so we're going to store ours on IPFS. So this is the interplanetary file system uh, that lets you store files in a decentralized way. So we're going to take this file here. Uh, you can see an example inside your project, this token URI file. And we're going to put it on IPFS so that we can use this for minting tokens. So you'll see like your name, description. You can customize these and change them. All right. But we're going to put a decentralized uh, image hash for um, our token image that's going to appear in our wallet inside this file too. So there's two steps. We're going to upload the picture to IPFS. All right. We're going to put the file hash inside of here. And then we're going to upload this token URI JSON uh, also to IPFS. And then that's going to get called inside this uh, mint tokens function right here. So we can, you know, issue tokens and add them to our wallet. So here's the image that I'm going to use for my token. All right. So this is actually the same image that I've used for my own production DAPI diversity token. All right. Uh, and I'm going to upload this to IPFS. You can use whatever image you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to use this one because I've used it before. All right. So I'm going to use a point and click IPFS uploader. I'll put a link down in the description below. Basically, you can just drag and drop your file here and it'll upload directly to IPFS. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll just drag my file. All right. All right. Once that's done, click transport. All right. And it's going to upload to IPFS. And whenever that's finished, you'll take the image file from IPFS, all right, and then paste the uh, hash here, okay? So you'll put the hash that you got back inside this metadata file. This is the token URI, okay? This is where all the description goes. And then next, you want to uh, upload this particular file, this token URI.json here. So just walk through those setup steps. Uh, select the token URI.json file from your project. Click upload again, all right? And then once you have that hash, you want to copy it uh, and put it here inside this mint tokens hash, okay? Or sorry, this mint tokens file. So again, this will be a different hash than the image. This is the hash for this actual file here. So anyways, you'll, you'll paste it inside of here, okay? And then the next thing you want to do is uh, 
add all the accounts that you want to mint tokens for. So in this case, I'm just going to mint uh, the tokens from my MetaMask address. So I'll just copy this and then put it inside my project here. Okay. And then, uh, you know, of course you can add more. I'm just going to do one for now. And then we'll go ahead and run the minting script. All right, now we can run the script to mint tokens from our terminal like this. So we just say truffle migrate dash dash network, or sorry, not truffle migrate, truffle exec uh, scripts. All right, and then mint tokens.js. Uh, we'll say dash dash network uh, Robston. All right, so this will actually run the transaction live on the main net, or sorry, not the main net, the test network, the live blockchain. But what it's going to do is actually use this uh, you know, token script that we created and also this uh, you know, truffle-config file here where we connected the blockchain with Robston with the Alchemy provider. All right, whenever that's done, you can see the, uh, the address here uh, for Etherscan, so you can copy this, all right, and uh, go to, let's see here... Etherscan, robson.etherscan.io, and pasting your transaction here. And you can see that a new token was created here. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a new ERC721 token ID of one. So this is the first token ever created for token. So here's your token tracker for your uh, you know brand new token that you've created. All right, so we can see we've got one holder. That's you, you know, if you minted yourself a token. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how to take this token and add it to your mobile wallet. And so before I do that, what you'll wanna do is... Uh, Copy and paste some information to your mobile device. You can text it to yourself, whatever. Just copy the smart contract address and send it to yourself. And then also copy this token ID right here. You know, mine's number one. Uh, and send it to yourself because you'll need those in order to add it to your wallet. All right, so in order to use this on your mobile device, you're going to want to download MetaMask. So this is available on Apple and Android devices. So just go to your uh, you know, app store, search for MetaMask, Ethereum wallet, download it. All right. And uh, go ahead and make sure you've imported your account. That's pretty easy to do as well. All right. But once you do, I'm going to show you how to add your token. So first, we're going to go to the networks here at the top, click wallet, right? And then select the uh, Rinkaby, or sorry, the uh, Robston test network. So the red button here. All right. And so now we can go to collectibles and then click add collectibles. All right. And then you're going to paste in that smart contract address. So you're going to paste in that address and then enter the ID of the collectible. So mine is one. Click done. And then boom, there you go. You've got one token here. All right. Very cool. So now inside of here on this page, you, know, you can see the icon at the top, but you can also see your image here. Okay. So mine says Blockchain Mastery University. That's what I updated mine to. That's the the tokens that I issued for the members of my program, Blockchain Mastery University. So I just use the same name uh, because that's what this token comes from. All right. But you should see your token name here and then also the picture that you used. Okay. So there you go. There's your live token on the blockchain. And you can see this uh, here in your wallet. You can send it to a friend, you know, whatever you want to do. All right, so that's an overview of how to take your own project and put it live on a, you know, a blockchain so that other people can use it. So we've taken a token, uh, a crypto collectible and put it out there so you can customize this, you know, uh, to do whatever you want to. But the core essential skill here is to be able to take your own smart contracts and put them on a live blockchain so that other people can interact with them. Again, if you want to build your portfolio so you can get into freelancing or like land a job or even just create your own project uh, or want to share something with your friends, this is how you do it. And the core skill here is to connect your project to that network. That's what you use Alchemy for. Again, this is the Ethereum provider that uh, allows you to connect to the blockchain without having to run your own node. So check the link down below to sign up for Alchemy because it'll make your life a lot easier when you're developing these blockchain applications. So I hope you like this video. As always, you know, smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And so if you want to take the next step, like what can you do? Well, of course, you can always go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my other free courses there. The, like if you want to follow some more step-by-step -step coding tutorials, you can just pick one and go with that. And if you like that and you want to take the next step beyond that, uh, or maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you to master blockchain step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be a programmer to get started today. You know, I've helped people with zero coding backgrounds become real world blockchain developers. I show you all the programming languages, concepts and everything in there from scratch. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.